We're here today to talk specifically in regards to the ASTM standard D3332. Can you give us an overview of this standard, Amy, and what it is primarily used for? Sure. This standard helps determine the shock fragility of products, and it may also be used in determining um, whether or not your packaging is sufficient enough to protect your product during shipment. Um, so what we do is there's two test methods within this test standard. Um, test method A is used first, and then that helps determine the product's critical velocity change. And then from that data, you move on to test method B, and you determine the maximum critical acceleration that the product can see before damage. And from these two tests, you'll get, um, you can get data that will help you choose the optimum cushion, cushioning materials. What type of equipment is needed to perform shock fragility testing? Sure. First of all, you need a shock machine. You also need a signal conditioner and accelerometer. Uh, with the accelerometer, you attach it rigidly to the base of your product or somewhere within your shipping container, uh, which somewhere probably near the center. And then from that, you attach your package rigidly to the shock machine. 